तो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो ऑनवर्ड्स आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू प्रोवाइड यू ऑल द मॉडल पेपर सॉल्यूशंस फॉर द सब्जेक्ट इंटेलिजेंट सिस्टम्स एंड मशीन लर्निंग एल्गोरिथम्स ओके सो दिस सब्जेक्ट एज यू मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर आस्किंग द मॉडल पेपर सॉल्यूशंस फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट एंड आई हैव thought that i would be providing this uh, model paper solutions okay the subject code is bec 515a so most of the students were asking the uh, uh, important stuff related to other subject codes that is uh, bec 515 b c d etc uh, they are having the subjects satellite communication uh, data structures using c++ and uh, so on okay so i would like to tell you that uh, do you guys that uh, i am taking only this subject because uh, i Uh, for me this subject was this that's why i thought to take only the uh, some of the important stuffs and model paper solution of this subject only okay the intelligent systems and machine learning algorithms okay so i'm going to do five videos for five separate modules uh, all the model paper solutions are available in this pdf this pdf would be available in the description within a short amount of time so you should be waiting for a while then only it uh, this this, uh, this pdf would be available in the description okay also some of them are, are saying that this pdf is not able to be downloaded so i have already kept the download access feature and it is uh, easily available you cannot say that uh, i cannot access or a uh, uh, link is not opening on you okay if in some case if you are already subscribed and the link is not not opening you i suggest you to please copy that link and paste it to some browser and then keep the uh, keep one more tab open for youtube as well as this uh, browser and then uh, if you uh, press that link it uh, goes to the youtube uh, my home page your btu academy if you are already subscribed to it then come back to the tab where you have uh, click that link then uh, from that the uh, unlock link option would be available click on that and then you can uh, unlock the link and access the pdf okay so this is the format guys please follow it and don't tell that pdf is not available this that okay so now it won't be available within a short amount of time we will be providing this pdf also i would like to say a uh, heartfelt sorry because uh, of the my lack of uh, what to say uh, materials provided for uh, digital communication i didn't explain it well i know that because i genuinely didn't had time for that so that's why i would like to say a heartfelt sorry for that and uh, the past is past that exam is over so you should be focusing on the future now so i had uh, provided this model paper solutions so thanks for listening this far now let us see with the model paper solutions before that please like this video your like would be very valuable do like this video guys okay so let us start with the model paper solutions of all the five modules starting from module 1 so this is the first question 1a okay so the question is how does the human brain interpret and process the information okay so this is the first question from module 1 okay the answer for this is uh, uh, in terms of artificial intelligence you should be explaining this answer one way ai systems achieve uh, intelligence is by reasoning which operates on internal representations of knowledge the human brain on the other hand is a complex organ whose workings are still largely a mystery so you know that uh, uh, if you compare ai tools with human brains you know that human brains has more capacities which has a large mystery and ai tools have some restrictions and whatever we provide information based on that information some additional uh, reason uh, with some specific reasoning it would be providing you the answers okay so that that's why it is largely a mystery however neuroscientists have made some progress in understanding how the brain enables thought okay for example we know that the brain consists of some nerve cells or neurons that communicate with each other through electrochemical reactions Okay, uh, these nerve cells and neurons would be uh, uh, improving our thinking ability, and we would be uh, getting solutions through our uh, effective thinking. Okay, that communicate with each other through these electrochemical reactions. Okay, next is specific cognitive functions are localized to particular areas of the brain. The next point is the brain's ability to learn is thought to be based on long-term changes in the connectivity of neurons. Okay. so the ability of brain uh, to learn new things would be completely dependent on the connectivity of neurons that is the brain cells which would be affecting the brain that should be very adaptable and uh, the connectivity between neurons enable our brains uh, to think in in an effective manner okay the functional magnetic resonance imaging that is fmri is uh, enabling scientists to, to measure brain activity in unprecedented detail providing insights into how cognitive processes work okay 
while the source offer a comparison between the computational resources of the human brain and computers they emphasize that even with an unlimited computational capacity we still wouldn't know how to achieve brain's level of intelligence okay uh, the meaning of this is with uh, how much ever computational resources or uh, technical thinking you provide to any sort of machine or ai tool uh, it would be giving you based on whatever we have given uh, our input okay based on that providing the particular set of output whereas brain is well we while we give any uh, while we think anything in the brain it would be providing some multiple suggestions in it and we would be getting confused whether what to be executed okay so that is the basic difference between human brain and the ai tools by processing the information okay uh, ai tools process information by what input we have given to it but human brain processes information based on the uh, adaptability of that situation okay it will be providing multiple ideas so this was the basic answer for this one a okay this was of uh, 10 marks we did but uh, the, in this we have not given that much so you can write it in your own words by, by some putting some of the additional points okay this was one question see let us see the next question now one b provide a brief overview of the evolution of artificial intelligence that is how artificial intelligence is evolving day by day how it is playing a vital role in our society right now everything with some key points with the, the evolution of the ai i have discussed in this answer okay yeah the journey of ai has been has been marked by periods of significant process followed by periods of disillusionment and reduced funding known as ai winters the earliest work recognized as ai was done in 1943 by baron mccoloch and walter pitts who proposed a model of artificial neurons okay so these scientists had proposed some artificial neurons where later it would be given a name of artificial intelligence in the coming future okay it was produced in 1943 by warren mccloch and walter pitts in 1950 alan turing a pioneer in machine learning proposed a test to access a machine's ability to exhibit intelligence behavior equivalent to human intelligence and that test is widely known as Turing test okay it's it has come from the name of the scientist alan turing john mccarthy coined the term artificial intelligence he gave this term artificial intelligence in 1956 at the dark mouth conference marking the official birth of ai as an academic field okay john mccarthy was the scientist who gave the term artificial intelligence at the dark mouth conference in the year 1956 okay the early years of ai were characterized by optimism and ambitious goals Herbert Simon predicted in 1957 that machines be soon able to solve problems across full range of human intellectual capacities. Okay, so uh, in Herbert Simon, the scientist predicted that machines would be able to solve problems same as well as how humans were solving. Okay, however, the limitations of early AI systems soon became apparent, leading to the first AI winter in the late 1960s. Okay, AI winter means AI started conquering over the human brain. Okay, so that term is known as AI winters. AI research experienced a resurgence in the year 1980s and uh, in the late 1980s and early 1990s, the second AI winter has occurred, that is the second update related to AI between the human beings had occurred. Okay. Similarly, in mid 1990s, again, the update has been seen and the emergence of intelligent agents were growing day by day. Okay. So, these are some of the key milestones in the recent period include in 1997, IBM's Deep Blue defeated world chess champion Gary Kasper. Okay. In 2002, Roomba's a robotic vacuum cleaner was released, marking the entry of, of AI into the home. Okay. So, this was the first vacuum cleaner official Roomba was released in marketing uh, the entry of AI into the home. That is, due to this vacuum cleaner, the AI growth had been efficient. Then again, in 2006, Companies such as Facebook, Twitter, and Netflix began using AI technologies. In 2011, present the rise of deep learning, big data, and artificial general intelligence has further accelerated in the progress in AI. Okay, so these were some of the key milestones which was uh, uh, recently which was executed. Okay, today AI is being applied to a wide range of problems from self-driving cars, medical diagnosis, and the authors of sources believe that. AI has the potential to revolutionize many aspects in our lives, but they also caution that we need to be mindful with the ethical and societal implications of this powerful technology. That is, they have told that AI has been uh, widely spreading uh, nowadays in the world 
and it has been very important it, it has made the human's life very easy but we should be checking for the limitations of ai because the uh, uh, wide range of use of ai would be causing damage within a society that is the thinking capability of human would be less okay so we should be very careful about that so these are some of the ethical and societal implications due to this ai okay so this was the complete answer of 1b hope you understood it i have tried to explain it as much as possible okay let us go to the next question now from uh, 2a of module 1 describe how agents use sensors and actuators to interact with their environment okay agents interact with their environment through a continuous cycle of perceiving information and taking actions based on that information the key components of interaction are sensors and actuators so these are the agents means of perceiving the environment the agents mean of perceiving the environment is called a sensor they gather information about the current state of the environment and provide it as input to the agent for instance a human agent a uh, human agent uh, this is for example a human agent uses eyes ears and other sensory organs to perceive world around whereas the robotic agent might use cameras infrared range finders and various other sensors a software agent on the other hand receives keystrokes file contents and network packets as the sensory input so this was all the some of the key com components about the sensors and what are basically these sensors okay now let us get to the actuators these are the agents means of acting upon the environment okay so these means upon acting on the environment they allow the agent to execute actions that change the state of the environment based on the agent's decisions okay human use their hands legs and vocal tract to interact with the world whereas the robotic agents utilize motors and other mechanisms while software agents act by displaying information on the screen writing files and sending network packets okay some human agents robotic agents as well as software agents use these actuators for these purposes as mentioned here okay you can note it down next is the process of an agent interacting with its environment can be summarized as follows that is first point is perception then interpretation decision making action execution feedback and many more okay you can uh, go note these points this cyclical process of perception interpretation decision making action and feedback enables agents to effectively interact with the environment and achieve their goals okay with these points we can make a note that we uh, we can effectively interact with the environment that is we could be uh, very adaptable to the sources available in the environment and we could be easily access in them okay for uh, for that we should be having these points in mind so that's all for this answer guys uh, you can note it down uh, this was the complete answer let's get to the next question now this module one is completely based on theories okay uh, the some of the algorithm part of ai it should be starting from module 2 and okay so this is the next question 2b what does it mean for an agent to exhibit rational behavior okay in artificial intelligence the rationality refers to an agent's ability to make decisions that maximize its expected utility or achieve the best possible outcome given its knowledge and the constraints of its environment a rational agent is uh, consistently selects actions that are expected to lead to the highest level of performance based on its understanding of the world and its goals okay so this is the complete meaning of agent to exhibit a particular rational behavior the concept of rationality is central to the design and uh, evaluation of intelligent agents the the sources highlight four key aspects that that determine an agent's rationality okay the four key aspects of a rational behavior uh, for an agent is first is performance measure okay performance measure means it defines the criteria for success in the agent's task environment uh, for example it's mentioned here that for a taxi driver the performance measure might include safety speed legality passenger comfort and maximizing profits okay so these are some of the performance measure that would be executed for for you know in this particular example they have given an, an example of a taxi driver that is it might include safety speed legality that how many in, in how legal way it is driving speed means how 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 much accessible he is driving with some of the speed limits is he maintaining it or not safety how much safe while he is driving okay that thing he would be noting next we have the passenger comfort how comfortable is the passenger okay so next is prior knowledge how much knowledge does he have about driving the agent's existing knowledge about the environment influences its decision making this knowledge might be pre programmed or acquired through learning next is available actions 
the agent's rationality is constrained by the actions it can perform in a given situation. Next, we have percept sequence. The agent's past experiences as captured by the sequence of percepts it has received inform its understanding of the current situation and guide its action. So, this was the percept sequence. Then we have a rational agent should choose an action that is expected to maximize its performance measure. Okay. However, a rational agent always should be having in mind that he should be taking one particular action that would be maximizing his performance measure. Okay. He should always be thinking of increasing his performance measure by taking some particular actions. Taking into account the evidence provided by the percept sequence and its prior knowledge. However, perfect rationality is often unattainable in complex environments. Due to limitations in computational resources, incomplete information and uncertainty about the future. The sources emphasize that rationality is not about achieving perfect outcomes in every situation but rather about making the best decisions possible as I have told you. Okay? Given the available information and resources. Given by the available information and resources, the rational, a rational agent should be having the adaptability, adaptability of taking the perfect decisions in order to get the perfect outcomes in order to increase its performance measure. Okay, the particular set of actions you should be taking. So yeah, that's all guys for this uh, video. I have discussed with the uh, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B order question paper solutions of module 1 in this video. I hope you like this. I hope you understood some of the concepts I have tried to explain as much as possible in this video. Okay, so if you are impressed and if you want more type of content like this, so please like this video. It would be really motivating us and please share these kind of videos with your uh, friends neighbors, whosoever you want because the exams are coming near for the fifth sem students that is DEC 515A. This is the subject code and the subject name is Intelligent Systems and Machine Learning Algorithm. Okay. So, this was the module 1 model paper solutions. Check it out. This PDF would be available in the description within a short amount of time. Stay tuned and uh, that's all for this video guys. If you like this video, please you can hit a like in this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest notifications. So, hope you understood something from this video. So that's all guys. All the best for the exam. We'll see you in the next video with module 2 solutions. Okay. Of model 3. That's all guys. Thank you.